and I hope that I just find a way over the summer to be able to look after myself a little bit more and make it a habit too before I go back to uni so I'm burning out less and I'm feeling good about myself inside and outside even more. Okay so as you'll probably have seen from some sort of introduction I'm not feeling bad about myself I'm just not feeling like the best version of myself and I know that I can do better and I know that come September is going to be a lot more of a struggle to balance focusing on my health and what I need, my lifestyle, uni work, work, everything like that. So I've kind of tried to think about everything that I've struggled with at university in terms of how I'm feeling and how am I going to implement things, what am I going to implement or take away now in the summer to prepare me for September to be a healthier, happier, the most better version of myself as of yet. So I'm going to take you along this journey with me. Hopefully something in this video will help you. I have just got back from training at Everlast Gym since it's been closed for the first time properly in months, to be honest. Um, I've finished university now for the summer as well, which helps. And yeah, I absolutely loved it. I was surprisingly as strong, if not stronger, than I was when I last trained at the gym. I did switch up um, like supersets and stuff. So that could have also made a difference. And I feel a bit more well rested now with having a few days off of finishing university, kind of taking time out for myself a little bit more, re-energizing. So that could also help as well, which is why I am using summer to my advantage of not being restricted on time and priorities and everything um although health and sort of how i feel should be a priority but somehow things that are set to time boundaries always come first either way because i want to take it off the list as soon as i can so whilst I recorded this clip at the gym, I thought it was the perfect opportunity to talk to you about my current workout routine on a weekly basis. So this is day one, which is Monday, and I am doing legs, glutes and hamstrings. Day two, shoulders and triceps. Day three, glutes and quads. And I also will be doing my Pilates class, which I have always done, which is more core strengthening, pelvic floor strengthening, flexibility and mobility. So I am seeing this as a bit of active recovery and a nice stretch out. Then on day four, it is back and biceps. And then day four, five it is the my full body hit which is 30 minutes body weighted and then the rest of the week is recovery which will be very well deserved i just wanted to quickly jump on to say that i'm already feeling better like nothing's changed in my physique my nutrition is relatively the same i'm just trying to make sure i'm eating enough protein prioritizing that and drinking enough water which is definitely giving me more energy and I'm just feeling better for feeling hydrated compared to dehydrated um, and tired so it's all looking good I just wanted to basically say how I'm feeling so much more better and that's down to just doing the things that I know that I enjoy doing and get a buzz out of this is proof that it's not about your looks. Like, yes, that does come down to it, especially if your goal is weight loss, toning up, building muscle, etc., etc. Um, even performance wise. And mine is more performance anyway, feeling stronger, hitting PBs and stuff. But it's more just to get my body moving and know that I'm doing the most for myself. Um, and I'm not taking the easy route, especially whilst being off of uni. I just know that I have no excuses. So yes, just remember it's not always about changes in the body with your physique. Yes, that helps definitely. It keeps the motivation going on the days where you're struggling, but nutrition, just honouring what 
your body can do because some people's bodies can't do this or can no longer do it or can't do it for as long and one day that time will probably come for all of us and we will regret not moving our bodies so hope that was a good pep talk for you hello everybody i hope you're well i am just coming to you with a bit of an update on this fitness journey and just health journey implementing better habits to prepare me for going back to uni and staying the best version of myself or even getting even better um i just wanted to update you so it is the 2nd of august um i i've been doing four gym sessions a week and i've been consistent with that water intake was really good but the last two days it hasn't been and i just wanted to pop on here to explain what i've noticed over not drinking enough water the past two days and why i'm going to try and drink two and a half to three liters for the rest of my life every day because i really did feel a difference i i feel like my under eyes are darker which i naturally have dark under eyes anyway i think it's partly um genetic i think it is when i am dehydrated or just not drinking enough water and i also think it's my iron intake but i have been having enough iron in my diet but um yes definitely not enough water even though i always have under eye circles pretty much um i think they have got a little bit worse and it's actually not because i'm tired because i've been having eight or more hours sleep every night more so energy wise it really caused a bit of a well not problem but i wasn't performing as well as i could do even just in conversation but also at the gym um so I just wanted to pop on here to one, remind you to drink enough water um, and two, just to update you with me noticing that habits were starting to slip and I need to re-implement those habits and make them a priority now so that they become more of a priority as well. When I go back to uni and life gets hectic and also I wanted to to show how drinking water isn't just about flushing toxins out but it does provide energy it does keep the body moving how it should be and also helps with things like dark circles and spots good evening so i am just going to kind of talk at you for a little bit um i have had a photo shoot today and um, which if you follow me you may have seen on my socials and yeah, for the past two weeks, I have not been to the gym and I don't want this to sound like excuses because I try not to use anything as an excuse, but it was my mum's wedding a week, well, yesterday it would have been a week ago and I was a maid of honour for my mum and yeah, that week run up, it was just mayhem. So I obviously had to go to a lot of last final touch-ups and stuff of like the dress and getting the flowers like that was my duty and all of that and then we also had like some fun bits at the end as well like going to crazy golf and going from food and whatnot like loads of celebrations with different people um and then the actual wedding and then the day after we also went for food because it was like another another excuse to celebrate really um before my mum and Neil also went on their honeymoon and then when they went on their honeymoon a week ago today I have been looking after my sister since so my sister's been stopping with me and also today this current day now the day of the photo shoot my boyfriend has gone to Edinburgh because he is working at the Fringe Festival and so I've been trying to see him as well as look after my sister and I wouldn't change anything for the past two weeks. I've enjoyed all of the memories that I've made and obviously I had to go to the appointments for the final final things to do for the wedding and everything like that, the rehearsal as well. But yeah, it just means that I haven't been prioritising going to the gym 
and the only workouts I've done are my classes but I cancelled some of my classes for some of the appointments that I had to go to and some of the events that we did for like just some fun time together making memories before the wedding so I don't regret anything I'm happy I feel like I've spent enough time with people although I know that I could have done a little bit more to just feel better not even just physically but mentally just knowing that I just trained a little bit more intensely um I probably would have felt a little bit better but I didn't feel bad on that sense I know that I could have felt a bit more toned I could have I'm not the best version of myself because I do have energy to train and this is the perfect time in the summer and I go back in two weeks so I will still prioritize the gym but I won't have as much time as I do right now obviously the past two weeks I just didn't and I've accepted that and I'm fine with that and I haven't put pressure on myself because usually before a photo shoot and um, when it's to do with dancing and stuff I do put pressure on myself and even when I've trained hard um, I've probably done unhealthy things which we won't go into in this video but I still wouldn't be feeling great I'd still pick things apart um so yeah wearing everything that I was wearing today I felt comfortable with the people I felt comfortable as well and um, I never met them before so I didn't really know what to expect um but yes I just do think that I could have toned I could have also been a bit more tanned but again I haven't had time and that's absolutely fine apologies if you can hear Kobe he's going crazy outside but yeah when I went to the makeup artist and she sat me down to do my makeup and stuff she was like oh um you've got such a nice natural face how do you want your makeup I have ideas from the outfits that you're going to wear but I just want to hear what you do want if there is anything and what you don't want if there is anything and I kind of made a bit of a joke and I was like oh just make me not look like myself because I think I did this for a few reasons I think I did this to show that there's no pressure on my behalf I think I did this to kind of, it's a Sunday, to kind of make her be like, oh, this is going to be like a fun hour sort of thing. Um, and also because I do think, I do my makeup the same every time I do my makeup and I don't do my makeup every day. But when I do do my makeup, it looks the same. And that's just because I know it works for me and I haven't found any technique or makeup that works any better. So when you've got a professional doing your makeup, it's kind of nice to be adventurous a bit more and to be like, oh, just surprise me kind of thing. Like, I don't know. I like having a bit of a different look every now and then, but sometimes doing it myself, I'm scared to because I probably won't like the result and I'll be too hard on myself um, or it just genuinely won't suit me. So, yeah, but as I was driving home, I kind of thought to myself, about that comment I made like oh just make me not look like myself yes I was joking but sometimes your body and your subconscious mind hold on to the words but it doesn't always understand that you are joking if you are joking so basically I've been in this position before so I'm noticing a pattern now which is why I'm pulling myself up about it I just want to make sure anyone that's watching this if you have this as a pattern, or maybe you've not even noticed it yet, you are just noticing it now so you can stop doing this. So I basically have noticed in the past that I will talk a little bit not the greatest about myself, or I'll think it, or I'll talk to myself like not like I would talk to anyone else. Um, and yeah. Then I wonder the week after why I am having a low body confidence day or a low mental health day or whatever it is. And that is because probably the week before I was saying, oh, just make me not look like myself. So I'm subconsciously telling my mind or my body that I'm not good enough and I don't think I'm good enough. So why would anyone else think I'm good enough? Maybe that's a bit too deep. But if you're doing that and if you're especially in a habit of doing that, then please, please, please catch yourself out and doing it, pull yourself 
up with it and just stop yourself if you start to do it just tell yourself no i'm beautiful my eyes are popping with that makeup so even though it's adventurous it's not necessarily me it's making my eyes pop and i love my eyes or i love this bit about my body this bit about my body is unique and nobody else has this so why would i undervalue that because i'm amazing but yes i just pulled myself up about it after reflecting and I want to pull you up about it or you to pull yourself up about it. If you do this, you might not do this. But if there's any other habits that you consistently do and then you notice a week or a month after you're more emotional or you're more hard on yourself or you feel more pressure, just try and see if it's anything to do with that habit. And if that habit shifted, would you feel better in whatever way to do with your job, to do with your looks, to do with your health, anything like that, would you feel better in a week's, days, months, years time? Let me know in the comments down below if you agree, if you have anything to add, if you've tried it and what your thoughts are. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up my video. I am going to do a part two because I realise that I've spent a lot of this video that you've just watched talking mainly about the gym and um kind of like avoiding burnout and my protein intake and all of that which is a huge factor of what makes me feel good um but there are other things that I want to still maintain and keep which I think may be boring to watch but I kind of figured that it's important for me and to me to talk about and it could be a reminder to you if it's something that may make you feel quite good but it's just um not always thought about and not always done um so just like i've massively decluttered my room and literally moved my bed cleaned my skirting boards and hoovered underneath my bed and done all of that kind of stuff um, but there are other things that I will talk about. So I'm not going to bore you and video them. But I am going to do a separate video to this. Probably next week's video. I'm going to talk about everything that I have done over the summer. That I've realised I need to keep in my life in some way. And how I'm going to achieve it with a tight, tight schedule. Um, so I'm going to talk about it. And then I'll take you along the journey anyway. Things may need adapting. But I need to prioritize my priorities for me so if there wasn't something in this video that you can relate to maybe going to the gym or moving your body or drinking enough water or maybe you don't need enough maybe you don't need any more energy because you get your energy from somewhere else or you drink enough water etc um but maybe something in the next video will be quite useful to you so keep your eye out for that subscribe if you're not already i hope you found some sort of motivation inspiration something to relate to in this video that you've just watched and yes i'll see you in next week's video